The next case is agenda item number seven, Lowndes County case. Uh, the final action on the Lowndes County case will be held at the Lowndes County Board of Commissioners Office Tuesday, October 8, 2013. Um, case number REZ 2013-11. Staff, if you please present this case. Yes, sir. Uh, this ultimately is a request to rezone the subject property from RA to R21 for about 14 acres off the Ford Road. At this point, the last communication I have with the applicant's agent is they were not able uh, to obtain all the signatures we were requesting by tonight's meeting, and so they recommended tabling the request. And so at this time, I think we would ask that the commission would table the request until the October planning commission, so we have enough time to collect those signatures and move forward with the public hearing. Do we need to get a motion on the table? Or? Yes, sir, please. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we table this request until we get additional information. All right. Is there a motion and a second to the, the request for case number REZ 2013-11 be tabled until we get additional information and brought back to the October meeting? Yes, sir. Um, the date specific will be the regular meeting in October, I believe it's the 28th, I don't know, I'm verifying the date. Yes, sir, October 28th. We'll be brought back to the October 28th meeting. Is there any discussion on this motion? There being none, all in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Motion passes unanimously. Um, Okay. All right, the next case that we have is case number, agenda item number eight, REZ 2013-12. Staff, if you would please present this case. Yes, sir. Um, the ultimate, and I think, main motivation in this case is the applicant wishes to increase the height of allowable dwellings on the very northern parcel on your screen, which uh, by laser pointer is this one right here. <coughs> on the site plan we turned in in detail, it's lots one through eight. They were approved for single story development. The applicant is requesting they go to a two story development. Uh, and with that staff asked if we could take the entire site plan back to be updated because of the various other changes and the applicant agreed. So we come back before the commission with an updated site plan. Ultimately though, the motivation is to increase the height of those residences on that northern parcel to two stories. Subject property we've seen before is uh, obtaining access off of Bemis and Sarah Road and also Old Pine uh, through the various neighborhoods to the west. And with this, we have various information for you to review should you need it. Ultimately, what is mainly at stake though is the updated site plan, which you had by email. I also have physical copies if you'd like me to pass that out. Um, you had a copy presented to you last Monday. There were uh, three basic changes to it. I don't think they were uh, substantive or major changes, but I do want to make sure you have a copy if you don't already have it. So maybe while you're having any questions, I'll try to pass these out to you. But ultimately, that is what is requested. You see the updated site plan before you. Staff had requested approval with one condition. The condition is that we receive that updated site plan and we believe we have um, what we needed uh, right now. So I believe the approval could be without a condition. And I plan on asking the TRC tomorrow if we can go ahead and remove that and just make a straight recommendation of approval. But with that, I don't have any further updates. I'll pass these uh, physical copies out to you, and I believe it's ready for your consideration tonight. Uh -huh. All right, are there any questions for the staff on the commissioners? <coughs> Mr. Fundo? Yes, sir. I, I just wanted to clear. Did you say that you've got the update on this? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. That's my question. This, uh, this is a copy of the email we sent out last week with the uh, updated site plan for your, for your review. Uh -huh. So this should just be a copy of what you're Mr. Chairman, this is not anywhere near the MAZ. I think we're out of how many miles we are for South. Okay. Uh, and are there any additional questions for the staff from commissioners? One thing I just, just kind of overdo that about a, a fence between this section of, and the existing sections there. Uh, so the housing on Old Pine Road and uh, Terrenberry. Would this be the place to put in a 
or ask a question about uh, fixing the cleaners? Okay. Yes, sir. I mean, it, it depends on the uh, location. The developers have, honestly, they, they've shown some buffers on the site plan, and if you actually go to the site, they've actually planned some additional landscaping that's not required. That's really something they just chose to do. Well, if you're over on the Pine Road, it's, a, uh, it's fairly close to the houses that are off the whole Pine Road, and backing up to the back side of these houses. And uh, I think we need to, to maybe put a recommendation in that we have some type of uh, privacy fence there uh, between the two uh, subdivisions. Mm -hmm. And so we don't have any we don't have any say on where it is over here. Turnberry, uh, Turnberry Circle. That's not on this. Okay. No, sir. I mean, just the uh, what's being asked to be updated is, is this particular part. Right. But I would like to, to make a recommendation to have to require a fence put in between between the backside of this property and the backside of the property off all Pine River. Yes, sir. To the north. Yes. The, uh, to the northern border of that 1.380. Yes. So normally with the privacy fence, sir, we call it opaque. What? Is there a height of six to eight feet? Six feet, I don't know. Eight feet are, is, is just uh, cost prohibitive. Okay. And uh, most people are, even if they're six foot tall, can't see over a six foot field. Of course, this is going to be two stories, so that uh, we cannot put a fence up top of the block down. Yeah. So, yes, I do. Yeah. I would like to make a motion that we require a fence. Now you have William, to wait for the um, <laughs> to leave to the end. So. New to the board, people. All right, that's fine. <laughs> Are there any other questions of the staff? There being none, is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? There being none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? There being none, I will now close the public participation portion of this request. The discussion is now open among the commissioners. Would like to make a recommendation that uh, we uh, put stipulation for fencing on the north side between this property and the property off of uh, Old Pine Road, mm -hmm. a six foot opaque privacy fence. I would like to make that as a motion. So you're making your approval for the case with the recommendation? Yes. With the stipulation that you have? Yes, sir. Okay. So, sorry, just to tighten up that condition, you just, for a six foot opaque privacy fence along the northern border of the 1.38 acre tract? Yes, sir. When we're in discussion mode, but he made a motion since there was no discussion had, so the motion is on the floor. For discussion, I thought. I mean, why don't you make a motion and second and we have a discussion on the motion? I'll go ahead and second. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Um, is there any discussion on the motion? I got one question on all the conditions. Nowhere in the middle. It says your recommendation, The only thing that we wanted them to do when we made that motion, which was on September 17th, because we believe they had one more, or two more revisions to the site plan they've done. Okay. So our condition really, I think, is, is going away okay. Okay. for our needs. I think our condition would just be approved. And I'd like to clear that up tomorrow. <laughs> okay. That's right. Okay. Yes, sir. And the Planning Commission can certainly add a condition about fencing if that is right. Right. Is there any other discussion on this motion? I have a question for the commissioner. What was the reasoning, the main reasoning for the fence? Just because of the proximity of the existing property that the people already built, settled in, and uh, now we're going to put some houses up right behind them. Just, just some privacy. That's the only reason. 
Any other discussion on the motion? If there's no other discussion, all in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. <coughs> well, and Sarah. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, do we have a public hearing? On the yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure I know the applicant. I don't think they'd be open to have that fence condition. I just wanted to make sure. Sorry. That's fine. Okay, the motion passes unanimously.